<laughs> Miss Callie, how are you today? I'm good. Your voice is infectious. Your energy is infectious. I love it. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I feel the same about you because I've been, of course, doing some research and watching interviews. <laughs> and I was like, we're going to get along. I feel like yeah. this is a good vibe. And you were right. You were right. Yes. <laughs> So many exciting things are happening right now. Obviously, mm -mm is doing its thing in your life and so many others. But before we get into all that, I want to go back to the very beginning. Where did it all start for you and how did you get into making music? Um, I was like eight or nine making music. It was really because like in school, writing was like my favorite subject and stuff like that. And I was like getting bullied and stuff like that. So I took it down in my notebook and I was watching Miss Nicki Minaj taking, taking notes as a little girl. And I was playing soccer and stuff like that. So I was always busy. I tried to keep myself busy. And um, me and my best friend actually made a pact as little girls. Um, we were like thinking like, oh, why would we go to college? Like, I don't have any money. You don't have any money. How are we going to pay for this? Like, you know, <laughs> we were young, like super young. We're like, um, I don't think we'll figure out another way to make money. I don't want to owe people money for the rest of our life. And we're not even thinking like, this is actually true. Like, you know, we're just talking. Yeah. So we were like, okay, we're not going to go to school. We'll figure something else out. And then um, I was really great in soccer and stuff like that. I could have went to college and stuff to play. But I was like, the school part, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I'd rather just play soccer. And um, as I graduated high school, I was thinking like, dang, like, I really want to get back into music. Like, you know what I mean? I want to give that a serious try. And, you know, I don't want to go to school. So this will be, you know, I have a little bit of following and stuff like that. So let me try to use that to my best then. That's how that happened. And I went on rhythm and flow. And from then, yeah. Skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. And I love that you mentioned Nikki because I feel like for a lot of us, just like being a kid, looking up to the queen, like even to this day. Yes. Like she can do no wrong in my eyes. <laughs> 100%. Right. Do you have like a particular setting or vibe that you set before you start writing? Um, I like to have me a hookah. Okay. Maybe take me a shot or something like that. Just, you know, so I could be yeah. turning my turned up bad bitch yeah. vibes. You know what I mean? Yes, um, I do. Because <laughs> when you're on like Casamigos, you're on the Don Julio, you don't need a man. Okay? Yeah. You don't need somebody. Jose you know, is the only you man. Know, you how you don't need them. How you get your own <laughs> bag, you know? Yeah. So I just need it to be my close friends or mm -hmm. me by myself in the engineer mm -hmm. at Dope Beat, Hookah, maybe Casamigo or Don Julio, and I'm licked. Yes. <laughs> we definitely will get along, Callie. I hope our <laughs> paths cross again one of these yeah. days in real life. Oh yeah. my gosh, you mentioned rhythm and flow. And uh -huh. I did watch the show and it felt like something was missing. I think it was you. Can you tell that story? What happened? Girl, I was... I was auditioning and I, well, I had heard about it. I auditioned yeah. and did everything that they asked or whatever. I kept auditioning over the phone. So then they were like, okay, we're going to fly you out. You're going to actually be on the show. And so I'm like, okay. So I was, it takes forever for a TV production. That, that takes all day in itself. So they would have me taking pictures, doing like little interviews and like doing like little raps and stuff and all this other stuff. But when it came down for me to get in front of the judges, they was like, oh, the judges are tired. You know, we're going to try to get you to another city. That never happened. And um, we're going to try to let you audition another day. And I'm like, OK, that's cool. Yeah, it didn't happen. But I went back and I got in the stool and I made some hits and I got on the move because during that time I was like, Maybe it just wasn't my time because I didn't have any music out. Like I had my music I made when I was like nine years old, no. rapping about Hello Kitty and shit. Yeah. But it's still hot, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. It's still hot for sure. Yeah. They can put that on a commercial. Yeah. But um, yeah, I got in the school. I met a lot of dope artists there that are still. Ken the man, I met her on the show, and she's still mm -hmm. one of my very close friends. She's like a sister to me. So I got on it and 
Look at me now. Yes, uh, queen. Me now. I'm so happy and proud of you that you did that because, I mean, I can't imagine the disappointment going as far as you got on that show and then not being on it. So that could have gone one of two ways. You could have right. done what you did or you could have just taken that as a loss and who knows where you'd be at today. So right. look at you, girl, doing way better and just crushing it. Right. Love it. Flash forward to today, obviously, mm -mm, is out. It's amazing. What inspired you to write this track? So, mm -mm, it's so, it's like a hell no. <laughs> yeah. So you got to say it with attitude. I always tell people, you need to say that with some attitude. It's mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? So when I was in the studio, I was saying that on the mic. Like, I was having Roger's blog. I was like, Mm-mm. <laughs> Not feeling it. Yeah, no. It's, and I was in Miami, and I'm always recording. I'm like, dang, like, why can't I be on a yacht, on a boat with my, to, like, these girls, I be seeing them on Instagram. Like, I want to be, I, I'm in Miami, like, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And then my my producer, ATL Jacob, he was like, no, it's time to be in the studio. It's time to work. You're going to get there. You just make, make this hit real quick. Yes. And I'm like, mm -mm. so I was still low-key salty, sitting yes. in the studio room with him. He was making a beat from scratch. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was like, hey, I never heard nobody say, mm -mm, like as a phrase, in a, as a hook or anything. And I'm really feeling like that. So I'm going to go in there and I start thinking, hmm, what, what would make me say, mm -mm? and I'm like, these, these men. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> So then that's how that came. We was just bouncing off ideas off each other all night. And at the end of the night, we was running around the room like, this the one, this the it's one. That's it. I love yeah. that it all stemmed from you just being salty. Yeah. <laughs> really, like, this is how that came about. I'm just like, oh, I'm tired. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's so catchy. I love it. But this is not even close to your first viral sensation. You yeah. know, do a bitch did its whole thing on TikTok. Yeah. I couldn't scroll through my for you page without seeing it. How did that feel? That was do a bitch was my first song when I I had a tape out previously before I had dropped. Um, this is why they mad now my mix my tape that's out now. Uh, and it had came down and do a bitch was the first song that I wrote since then. Since my tape had came down, I was like, this curse. I'm like, dang, like stuff was happening back to back. Like music getting taken down, no rhythm and flow. I'm moving across the country. Like, I just, just crazy. Like, I'm like, Ugh, I don't know if this is for me. Right. I'm just, I just keep getting hit in the back. Like, damn. Yeah. And do a bitch was that song. I was like, no, nah, like, I see any folks. I'm like, hold on, let me take over the game because I can do this. Yeah. I had like a couple viral songs before do a bitch. I had my song, Mommy. Mm -hmm. that was out it was going crazy and then I'm like I could do this I keep going viral like yes. I just need to keep I didn't need to drop the song like obviously they fucking with me because I keep going viral mm -hmm. and so then when do a bitch when I dropped do a vision and I just I was introduced to TikTok with my friend she's like you need to get on TikTok why are you not on TikTok and I'm like girl I don't know how to work that I never know how to work at yeah and my friends always set it up for me <laughs> i don't ever do that myself i'd be like girl that's complicated like, yeah. i'm gonna be one of them old folks like i don't think i want to get on that because i don't know how to work it who has the time but, but i was on tiktok just made a funny video like the like most people do on tiktok <laughs> i was like damn let me try to i have a single out tiktok don't know about it i keep seeing folks put their music up like let me try and then it was viral like i'm like I got the recipe, baby. I got the sauce because this is just keep going viral. Yeah. But yeah, it was really crazy because every day then Rico got on it, oh. um, got on um, the TikTok. She did the challenge. Then she went to do the song. So yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. That's so awesome. Do you remember about how long it took from when you put it on TikTok to like when it went viral? Um, I think it was like three days. Quick. Yeah. Really quick. Outside of Rico, obviously that one was special. Were there any other celebrities who did the challenge that really just like shook you? Um, oh, it was just the fact that it was so many people that did it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like I woke up and it was like 400,000 people. Yeah. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. But um, I seen Charlie D'Amelio did yep. it. And she did that. She did that twice. Yeah. <laughs> so she went back and was like, hold on, I need to 
Yeah. He want to rock out one more time. Mm -hmm. I need a pretty bitch one more time. Yeah. But yeah, she did it, and I was like, that's dope. And then people was all, everybody, the TikTok influencers that be going up, they was all doing it. And I was like, they're making all kinds of challenges to it. Like, not even just the, like the beauty challenges, but like crazy stuff. Yes. Oh, I love this for you. Hit after hit, Callie. We're going to keep it going. And ain't fucking with me. We need to talk about the music video because I watched it today and it's so iconic. Are you two like going through the decades in this thing? Yeah. Oh, I love it. What kind of made you come up with the concept for that music video? I always wanted to do a video with those looks. Like, <laughs> honestly, like just crazy dope stuff. Like, you know, and um, the whole old theme with the TV boxes and like just feeling like you were on like a little back in the day watching the, the TV as like a little kid or something like that. I just, I don't know. It just feels like that fashion to me was dope and I feel like I'm really fine. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the same way with me. Yes. Oh, the scene when you're like kind of in the 70s look with the Elvis poster behind you. Yeah. Stunning. I love that whole thing. It was, and it was so, I guess I loved it maybe a little too because it was unexpected. Like yeah. you know, from your other music videos, it's very different in a way. And I was like, this, this girl's always keeping us on our toes. Love to see it. As I should. <laughs> yes, as you absolutely should. Don't stop. <laughs> now you've kind of reached this level of fame where I'm sure people are starting to recognize you in public and coming up to you. Do you have any wild fan stories yet of anything that's happened? Um, I actually do. I have a couple. Uh oh, I have, okay. I have some great ones. Yes. And I got some crazy ones. Like, yes. why would you ever? Like, you know, like. I'm excited. One time I was in the mall and um, I was walking and this boy, like these group of boys came up to me and they was like, oh my gosh, you're that girl that rap. And I'm like, oh, hey, like, I'm trying to keep, I'm cool. What's up? Dead. He gonna start grabbing me like I'm talking about real life. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just trying to talk to you. I'm not. I'm not the one. <laughs> I just turned around. I said, "Please don't make me be mean to you. Like, please don't make me be mean to you. Like, like for real. I was like really nice. I was still nice. I said, "Please don't grab me. Please don't make me be rude to you, cause I I just I'm not feeling like that today. Yeah. Be happy. I'm not feeling like that today. Exactly. Cause I got a song called Do a Bitch. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I just kept walking. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the craziest one. Cause if y'all would have seen how he grabbed me, oh. I, I stood up. But I did it. Mm -hmm. I kept cool. The free. You know, every every other one was great. Like they always nice, asking to take pictures. I'm always for that. Even when I look crazy with my yeah. bonnet on. Cause I still walk I still be out here with my bonnet on. Um, <laughs> at the mall yeah. look like I'm like thinking because I still think like nobody's gonna notice me like who knows me <laughs> but that fails every time like every time. <laughs> every time you're in the bonnet I'm sure someone's like my girl yes. Kelly. <laughs> yes one time I think I went in Target and it was like in the middle of nowhere so I'm like okay I'm just going and running here real quick get some lotion like I'm cool yes. I got my bonnet on like I'm cool yes why I walk down the aisle and it's a group of girls and like, oh my God, are you Kelly? I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not today of all days. I'm like, I was looking crazy. I'm talking about I walked out the house, no lotion. I ain't have no lotion. So obviously my legs is ashy, <laughs> elbows is ashy. I'm like, no, this is not the day for that. I'm just thinking, I'm just, they can't see the hair. So right. they're not gonna know the face. She, they were like, where do you know your face from anywhere? Oh, that's I was so just, sweet. I know, and I had to take the pictures. <laughs> so I, had, I just I just pulled about it off. <laughs> and I took the pictures. And I was like, just from the, just from the waist up. Because the legs, <laughs> they weren't talking about nothing real. <laughs> we're here to fix the leg situation, so <laughs> don't do anything <laughs> like that. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. And the fact that they just recognized you by your face, that says a lot. Yes, it was great. Oh, that's so cool. I'm definitely going to use the line to don't make me be mean to you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like you guys say, and I was like, please, please don't, don't make me be mean to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll feel bad about it after, but like, <laughs> don't. Yeah, because then I'm going to have to turn to a whole different person. Mm -hmm. and be like, Dang, that's that girl. She mean. She rap, but she was a bitch. Exactly. I don't, I don't, yeah. 
Oh, oh, bless your heart. <laughs> that is so <laughs> awesome. Those were great stories. Oh my gosh. I know this year as if it doesn't get any more exciting. You did your first festival. Yes. Now right. plural, rolling loud. How was the first one though? What was that experience like for you? Uh, it was the best thing ever. It was like a dream come true. It was one of my goals, like at the top of my list. Like when I start popping, I need to get on run loud. And it was the first like big festival that I did. So it was amazing. Me prepping for it was honestly the best part for me. Like learning the dance moves, getting dancers, like being in there, like, like really working. It was hard. I was working out, like working out real hard, couldn't breathe type shit. But I was like, I gotta do this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work out like Beyonce. Yo, because, yes. you know, I wanna be the best. So mm -hmm. I gotta make sure I'm popping out and making my mark on the first one. Right. And when I got out there, I actually wasn't even nervous. I was just ready to get it done. Like I was like, let me do this. Like I've been working, like, let me show y'all what's up. We're ready. Yeah. And when I went out there, it was like, it was a smaller crowd when I had went out there. And then by like the second song, it was like filled in there. Like they was like, Kelly, I'm like, oh, shit. Oh my yeah, God. they came for me. And then yeah. when I when I got off, they walked right off. I was like, they came for me. That was awesome. Like, I was so happy. Oh, that is amazing. And I'm sure that's just the first of many to come. Yes, yes. Well, I hate to leave you, Callie, but I got one more question for you before I go. Okay. So here in the state of Maine, our state motto is the way life should be. So I want to know, according to you, what is the way life should be? Um, life should be glamorous, um, full of just bad bitches, honestly. <laughs> Confident bad bitches mm -hmm. that get money. That's the way life should be. And girls should get their way 100% of the time, no matter what they've done, always. Yeah. That is the best response to that question I've ever received. <laughs> oh, Callie, you are awesome. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. And I know this is just the beginning for you, girl. So we're enjoying watching. Yeah, Keep thank grinding. you for having me. You were great. Oh, thank you, girl. Until we meet again, take care.